Hi everyone, I'm Siting Wang from Microsoft Research Asia. Today I'm going to talk about knowledge graph reasoning for recommendation. Knowledge graph reasoning outputs not only recommendations, but also a reasoning path in the knowledge graph that connects the user with the recommended item. It not only improves accuracy by leveraging more useful authority information, but also provides a crystal type of explainability by clearly showing all the reasoning steps. For example, the reasoning path here shows that a song is recommended to the user because the user listened to, to another song, uh, which is written and sung by Ed Sheeran, and Ed Sheeran is the singer of the recommended song. Existing works on knowledge graph reasoning identify bottom level reasoning passes on instance view kgs. Instance view kg includes relations between specific entities, but lacks information about the high level connections between the entities. For example, it does not know that both Prada and Armani are um, Italian luxury fashion brands. Based on the instance view kg, the existing KG reasoning are at the bottom level, which is fragmented in the sense that it cannot directly relate different user behaviors to achieve an overall understanding of the user. So it failed to reveal the true interest of the user, for example, um, Italian luxury fashion brand. Um, so it limits its explainability. Moreover, the accuracy is also hammered because such a fragmented reasoning process may easily converge to a local optimum. Our idea is to combine ontology view KG with instance view KGs to achieve multi-level reasoning. Ontology view KGs store relations that reveal whether an entity is a child of another concept. For example, Prada is an a, a Italian luxury fashion brand. Based on such a multi-level knowledge graph, we can immediately know that most behaviors of Alice are related with cosmetics produced by Italian luxury fashion brand, uh, which uh, make us uh, easy to give the correct recommendation. Compared with bottom level reasoning, multi level reasoning is much more similar with human reasoning. Human reasoning is by nature um, multi level according to psychopathology. By reflecting on the human reasoning process, we can derive two desirable properties of multi level reasoning. The first one is the top down strategy. So the human reasoning uh, is usually obtained over, uh, overview first and then drill in, into the details on demand. For example, humans may first decide that uh, Alice likes more about cosmetics than sports, and then decide that Alice likes more about luxury cosmetics than cheap cosmetics. In machine learning, this top-down strategy helps prune the large search space and avoid local optimum and converge to a better solutions. The second property is multi-level granularities. Human intention inherently has multiple levels of granularities. For example, uh, Alice may like most luxury fashion brands, while a Bob may have a specific preference for Armani. Similarly, different reasoning hops may require different granularities. So uh, extracting multi-level paths in which each hop belongs to a different uh, level are essential for correctly represent representing user preference. The challenge here is how to achieve multi-level reasoning when there are no ground truth labels for reasoning paths. For bottom level reasoning, uh, the reinforcement learning is really used. The MDP of uh, reinforcement learning consists of the state S, the action A, and the reward um, R, also a transition function uh, P. So um, the reinforcement learning framework for bottom level reasoning is as follows. The knowledge graph is considered as part of the environment, and at each step, the environment 
gives a partially generated path to the agent as the state. And the agent will uh, um, output the action, which is the next step of the partially generated path. And then the environment will decide uh, whether the uh, reasoning path leads to the correct recommendation and give the reward to the agent based on the recommendation accuracy. Specifically, uh, the reward is one if the path ends with the correct recommended item and is zero otherwise. So how can we extend this process to multi-level? A straightforward formulation is to collapse a multi-level graph into a single level one by treating the multi-level relation is a relation in the same way as other bottom level relations. So in this way, we can automatically get such a cross level reasoning path. However, um, this, um, this formulation can no longer distinguish high level concepts from low level ones. So it fails to satisfy P1 or P2. For example, it is uh, very difficult for them to achieve a top-down pruning process. Paths uh, may also be very difficult to understand because uh, both, uh, both the child, parent, and the ancestors may exist in the same path. The second formulation is to map the bottom level relations into the high levels and then reason at the high level. This enables us to extract high level uh, passes like this. However, uh, there is still no way to transfer the knowledge from bottom level to uh, from the top level to lower levels. So it's still uh, difficult to satisfy P1 or P2. A more serious problem is uh, the path invisibility. The high level paths extracted in this way may be invisible, which means that there are no bottom level paths that can support it. Such an invisible path may mislead people into believing something that is not true. For example, this high level path says that a luxury fashion brand produce face makeup described by a destructive instance, which may make people uh, feel that the luxury fashion brand is bad. However, this uh, high level path can be extracted only because at the bottom level, Armani produced a face makeup and another unrelated face makeup produced by some other brands is described by poison. Uh, so actually the luxury fashion brand never produced any face makeup described by destructive instance, but it makes people feel in this way. It, it is quite misleading. To solve these problems, we design a reinforcement learning framework for multi-level recommendation reasoning, which is called RIMA. Our idea is to avoid extracting invisible passes and ensure effective knowledge transfer by reasoning over the high level cages with the bottom level caging in mind. So we formulate the high level reasoning with abstract MDP, which is defined based on the ground MDP. In our case, uh, is the bottom level reasoning. Specifically, the ground MDP M0 um, is defined in the same way as the other bottom level reasoning papers. And then at the level L, we uh, define an abstract MDP based on the ground MDP, which is constructed by aggregating multiple states in the ground MDP into one abstract state. So the core here is the state abstraction function phi L. In our paper, a natural choice of the state abstraction function uh, is the one that maps the bottom level pass, which is the ground state, into a high level pass, which is the abstract state. Uh, so compared with the, uh, this formulation, uh, which only maps a relation or an age, single age into the high level, we're able to map the whole pass into the high level. We can prove theoretically by using theorem one that abstract MDP can naturally guarantee pass visibility. 
And also, um, there is a very good theoretical uh, property for knowledge transfer. So uh, for example, the optimal policy for the abstract MDP is also optimal in the ground MDP given some uh, conditions. Another component, important component is the weighting function, which decides the relative weights of the ground states when they aggregate into one abstract state. Um, we, we show that any fixed weighting function is good theoretically, and we define the weighting function so that the high level policy could be optimized without having to explicitly compute the complex Kated reward function and transition function for the abstract MTP. Our definition of the weighting function is equal to sampling the state action and reward in the bottom level, and then use the abstract state action and reward for optimization and at level L. Uh, this is not only easy to implement, but also the reward and transition functions automatically satisfies this equation. Um, based on the RL framework with abstract MDP, we propose a cascading act critic, which solves the uh, abstract MDPs in a top-down manner. Uh, so uh, we first optimize the um, act critic at the top level. Um, so actor is the policy network and critic is the value network, which gives the expected reward uh, for a state. The optimization is like traditional reinforcement learning, but the only difference is that we obtain samples by first sample at the bottom level, and then map the sample into the high level by using the state abstraction function. Um, uh, so we, uh, after getting the optimization at the top level, we will optimize the lower levels based on the top levels. Uh, the challenge is how we can transfer the knowledge from the upper levels to the lower levels. Uh, this is achieved by behavior cloning and reward shaping. So behavior cloning will initialize the actor and reward shaping is uh, useful for initializing the critic. Um, we can show that our value-based reward shaping not only enables faster conversions, but also ensure that the lower level policy is, will not be biased, even if the high level knowledge is not correct. So the reward shaping uh, is, as, uh, is as follows. The, uh, so after learning about Alice likes more about face makeup uh, than sports shoes, at level one, we can pass the information into level zero by using the shaping function. So we will immediately know that Alex likes more about a specific face makeup compared with a specific sports shoes. In this way, we can prune the search space and converge to a more satisfying solution. Uh, finally, we extract multi-level reasoning passes in which each hop can belong to different levels. Um, this is achieved by first learning a multi-level value function and then um, uh, perform value-based pass extraction, uh, extraction by optimizing the expected reward. We can show that multi-level reasoning is always better than the bottom-level reasoning in terms of the obtained value. In our experiment, uh, we found that the, the recommendation accuracy is significantly improved. Uh, even if there are some additional guidance, such as um, past demonstrations. Uh, moreover, we can show that each level of the knowledge graph is useful. The case study shows first, multi-level paths improve explainability and persuasiveness by summarizing more user behaviors. And also uh, we show that uh, multi-level reasoning improves recommendation accuracy by clarifying the meaning of an entity in the context of all the overall user behavior. For example, the word top can be interpreted in multiple ways. Um, however, our method can correctly understand it by connecting uh, the other 
uh, words mentioned by the user, for example, jar. So it leads to the correct recommendation. Um, in comparison, the baseline uh, recommends an incorrect item because it misinterpreted the meaning of top. In conclusion, we propose a reinforcement learning framework for multi-level reasoning, which can also generalize to other reasoning tasks over graphs, such as a question answering. On our we also propose a cascading act critic which adopts a top-down strategy to prune the search space and theoretically ensures that high-level knowledge can guide the low-level reasoning policies to converge to a more satisfying solution. And lastly, we propose a multi-level reasoning path extraction method that automatically selects which level of concepts should be used in each hop of the reasoning paths and helps reveal the true level of user interest and improves accuracy and explainability. Thank you for listening.